up in this pieces are kind of flake off, so I wouldn't. I don't think it's considered like sandstone. I don't. I don't know what it is. It's a pain in the butt. I can tell you that. So. <laughs> But I'm gonna use this, get it ripped out, and kind of cut down. I don't know, maybe six more inches, and then we can get enough room to put the uh, three-inch rock in here. We should be—I keep saying that—we should be starting to put some rock on the majority of this here pretty soon. But with them kind of wanting to dig out for where their new building's gonna go grades of everything kind of changed it changed it up pretty good but I think I've got most of my grades kind of figured out or know what they need to be now so and I got a couple dump trucks running they're using some of the better clay stuff on a, one of their jobs I think they're back filling around a storage unit or a slab or something so this is actually some pretty good reddish orange clay right here but it's also pretty rocky too so I don't know how well it would work for like a building pad but I may see if they want to haul any of this to where they're going they got one other job that they were needing some rocky clay fill material at and then probably tomorrow my plan was just to probably get five or six of those trucks and just Try to get as much of this pile behind me hauled out as possible. It's supposed to start raining sometime Thursday, so it'd be nice to get this stuff out. Just because the biggest part of it is where we're taking it to is drier right now. So, and I kind of need it out of the way. It would, it would help if the most of it was gone where I can kind of get my the end of my swell part of it and my drain heading out to the end of the parking lot so it's not bad but it is getting just a little bit annoying to try to work around because I got uh, kind of on the three sides of it I got it all ready to put the three inch rock back down there so I was just trying to do as much cutting and piling as I could before all the trucks show up I feel like my clips have been so chopped up and stuff because there are some days I've worked up here and haven't really filmed anything and then but some of it I don't I don't know I thought about trying to do I don't know if I'd ever do like daily videos I've thought about it a little bit kind of like a let's dig style where I just film what I do each day and then just upload that but the problem is I almost think it gets a little bit boring because there was like two days all I did was use the dozer and drop the rippers and rip all this up and then just work on piling it up. So I mean, I don't feel like people want to watch two days of that. I mean, I kind of think you get a little bit of the idea after uh, a few minutes of watching so <laughs> so. of this ripping. Nobody wants to watch a, a day worth of ripping.
I got Cody in the um, dozer. He's giving me a little hand. I got his truck loaded up. But I got seven trucks running, which is working out perfect. And then three of them got moved to a different dump site. And like, so it just takes them like half the time to get over there. <laughs> so now I'm getting where they're getting stacked up on me. At least I like, kind of done a little bit of a way because then the other three are going further away. Which I may switch one more of them over to the further distance. But I think they're about ready to get that site filled up. So we put a pretty good dent in it and I was kind of having time to like at the end of each round to be able to jump out and push a little up with the dozer. But now since those other three trucks are making a shorter trip, harder to find the time to get out to do that so I guess this is one of those times where an employee would be nice but I don't really I wouldn't have to have someone like all day push the stuff over to me just right now it's kind of helpful so it gives him a break from running the truck though so he was fine with it We're gonna get pretty close to getting this whole thing hauled off today, which I don't know. We've gotta be We've had to haul over 60 or 70 loads so far, I would think. Because I know at like 25 this morning, it looks like we hadn't even put a dent in it yet. Now there's a good chunk of it that's gone, so. Yeah, this is making life a little easier than I was running out of reach. Instead of trying to move the excavator, I'm about out of a pile to sit on to uh, move around. And then I switched over to the tooth bucket because part of where we're at now is where I need to cut down where it's sitting on it. It was taking longer to scrape it with the grading bucket than it was to use this one. But I don't, I think this one holds just a hair less than the grading bucket because it's a like a high capacity 42 inch so the grading butt's a 60 but it's not as deep or as tall so i want to say this one holds or holds like 0.98 yards and the grading bucket is like point or 1.03 so i mean it's like just a touch more but it's not like drastically different just looks like it is because it's a foot and a half wider but it's not like I said it's not as tall and not as deep so so yeah this will kind of speed it up with him pushing that down plus it's one less truck in the rotation right now so make it where I can keep up a little bit better so it's jobs like this where I need like the uh, like a 240 size machine or something 250 but I may not have another job like this anytime soon so I just make do with what I got like I said it was working out pretty good until those other guys switched over to that shorter run That's really the biggest thing is just trying to base the amount of trucks off where you're hauling to so it was working out great earlier with seven or eight trucks doing that little bit longer haul because by the time i get one loaded another one was pulling in so but we are getting there so
nice and dark. I'm sure you guys can't see all that well, but hopefully you can see enough to realize that pile is gone. So I still got a pretty good high spot there. I started kind of leveling some of this out, but I don't want to get uh, too carried away and haul too much out. But uh, we lost count. I think we got well over a hundreds or 110 loads today. <laughs> so I had an average of six to seven trucks. There was a couple times there it had eight to nine and then I was down to like five or six. And then I think the most time was either six or seven. So yeah, we moved a lot of dirt in a 10, 10 or 11 hour day or whatever. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back in the morning and hopefully there's a pretty good chance of rain, but it looks like they've pushed it back to late afternoon. So I'm gonna set my laser up, make sure I kind of got the grades that I need where I can get a good six inches of rock over this whole lot. So I think I'm pretty close. It needs to be, I'm gonna kind of knock that hump down and uh, roll it in that lower spot. I got a little bit low over there, but it had a lot more soft material. So hopefully we'll beat the rain and then we'll uh, start pushing all of our rocks. So yeah, good day. <laughs> 